Hey, in this video, I will tell you how can you connect Postgres SQL database with your Django project. So at first you have to install the Postgres SQL. Okay. So if you are using Windows, so just download Postgres SQL for Windows. Okay. Now just download the installer and now download the version of Postgres SQL and then installed it. Okay. Before start this, I just tell you something, there are a lot of tutorials. So I started React and Django tutorials for beginners and the Django REST framework tutorial for beginners. So if you are a beginner and want to learn it, now subscribe the channel for more videos. Okay. When you install the Postgres SQL, it needs a password. You have to remember this password for further. Now you can install Psycop G2 PSYCOPG2 for your Django project. So now copy this and here just open the CMD and paste this. In my case already satisfied. After Postgres is installed, so just here create a Django project and the Django apps. Okay, so now open it with VS Code. So this is our Django project and this is the Django application. So go to P and here you can see Postgres SQL 13. Okay. So now inside the settings.py. So here just install the apps. Okay. So now go to application and here just create a index view. So def index and now pass the request okay so just return and return render and now pass request also and then the template name template name is index dot html okay so now go to app and here create a folder name templates Okay, so just create a file name index.html. Now I just copy this bootstrap starter template. So just copy this and paste here. And here I just type B learning club. Okay, so now go to the project here at the urls.py. So here just add the path. So you have to import the index view. So just type from app dot views import index. Okay. So now here type the path. Okay. I use the landing page here and now type the function name index. Okay. And the name of the URL is index. Okay. So now save it and just save it and go to settings save it okay so at first just run the server so python manage.py run server okay so now this is working so just go to models here just create a model Okay, so here I just create a model name student and there are two field name and description field. Okay, so now go to the admin here at first import the model student. So from models dot models import student. Okay, now register it admin dot site dot register and register the model student. Okay. So now go to settings.py. Here you have to change the database. Okay, so here just remove this. Okay, so now type the engine name, user, and the password. So type the engine name django.db.backend.postgres.sql. Backends.postgres.sql. Okay, so just type this. 
okay so now open the postgres so just go to postgres sql 13 and here is a pg admin 4 okay so by sql cell you can create the database also so just click it pg admin 4 so wait sometimes okay so here need a password to open okay so just type the password which you have entered at the installation time so i just enter my password admin and now click on ok okay so now click on servers and here is postgres sql 13 so just expand the login and group roles so just right click here and now create a login okay so just create a name so i just name it moni and now go to the definition here need a password so just password is moni and now save it okay so now go to database here and just right click on the database and now create a database okay so just create a database name test1 and owner owner is moni Moni. this is the login user okay so now save it okay okay so now go to your django project here what is your name of the database so the name of the database is test1 okay so just type here test test1 and the username is moni and the password is also moni okay so now save it so now just open the cmd and now make migration at first so just type python manage.py make migrations okay so you will get an error role money is not permitted permitted to login so just go to the postgres here is the money user and now here is the privileges okay so you have to give a privileges so just edit this and go to privileges and can login set it to yes okay so now save it okay so now open the cmd and now type python manage.py make migrations okay now migrate the model python manage.py migrate okay now you can create the super user also so just type python manage.py create super user i just give a name admin and the password is admin okay so now run the server python manage.py run server okay so now go to the localhost at first and just go to the admin and here type the username and the password and you can see here the students database okay so now click on add student and here just add a student rohit okay so description rohit is good boy okay so now save it okay so now go to your django project here is the application and here is a views.py and now here just import at first student model so just type from from dot models import student model and now create an object for student model so obj equal student dot objects dot all okay and now context context is what so just pass obj and obj is what this object okay this object and now pass this here so here just pass this context okay so now go to index.html here just create a class name container okay so now here just create a for loop for grab the all object of student model so just create a for for x in obj 
and now end the for loop here so just end the for loop end for okay so now grab at first the name of the student and then description so just here grab ex dot name and here just grab ex dot des description okay so now save it okay so now run it okay you can see here rohit and rohit is a good boy okay so now go to the postgres database and here is the money and here is the dependence okay so the database is test one okay so now go to test one and go to schemas and here just you can see the table okay so here is the table app student auth group and this is the table we created student okay so just right click on it and go to scripts and insert script okay so now here at first the value of the id is to just give it and the name the name i just choose name ronnie and then the description ronnie is bad boy okay so now i just copy all of this and now paste here also and here i just change the value and the name is debu and just change also the description is not bad boy okay so now run the script okay so now go to the browser and just run the localhost and you can see here ronnie and debu ronnie is bad boy and debu is not bad boy okay so in this way you can connect the postgres database with your django project here are other database okay so auth group permission auth permission auth user okay so thanks for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe the channel for more learning videos